Hi there. This is my railroad cart I built from scratch about a year ago, and it's in dire need for some upgrades. I built it with the intention of exploring the miles upon miles of abandoned rails in my area. You're probably thinking to yourself, huh, that looks suspiciously like some square tube and a sheet of plywood. And uh, you'd be absolutely right. That's exactly what it is. And that's the beauty of it. The entire cart is very much the essence of looks good to me, and yet it rides surprisingly well. Not only is it some square tube and plywood, but also none of it is actually welded together. It's all bolted with some grade 8 hardware and a dream. For the drivetrain, I cut up an electric mountain board I built and mounted it to the square frame on the corners. This allowed me to use pneumatic tires, however, a new problem arose as a result. I couldn't turn. You see, a train wheel has a conical shape to it that helps keep it on the track. Without a solution like this, I'd be uh, a little worse for wear. My first convoluted solution was to solely rely on some plywood and sheet metal discs bolted to the front tires to act as flanges and guides. It worked really well for a while, but ultimately failed because, well, they're made out of plywood, not made to last. Now they're really only good for, uh, I guess, bad frisbees. Since durability was the downfall of the original guides, I decided to swap them out for some A36 1 quarter inch steel ones and whew, are they nice compared to the old setup. I'm confident these will hold up to the test of time, so let's go ahead and get them mounted. Besides the front flanges keeping me on the track, I also have some vertical rollers that prevent the rear from falling off too. They hardly ever have to do any work since the front makes the cart track really well. One other feature of my cart is that the main electrical components are all housed inside a junction box that is completely removable. I have about one kilowatt hour of battery and a shunt battery gauge so I'll always know how much charge I have left. On a single charge, my electric cart can cover about 20 miles of riding with two people. However, there's just a couple of miles of open track cleared where I currently am. The track locally is kind of in limbo with plans for a trail to go over it. In the meantime though, for every 500 subscribers I get from this video, I want to live stream, explore, and hopefully clear the brush off of a mile of track. If you enjoyed the video, sharing and subscribing is greatly appreciated. If I rebuilt the cart, I'd go with aluminum square tube, welded together, and of course some conical metal wheels. However, I'm really happy with it in its current form. Thanks for watching, see you next time and check the description for a detailed build list.